Yo, peoples, good morning, and I just want to say I wanted to try and see if I could do a live stream of me doing this live, but I didn't know exactly how that would work out because today marks my 25th birthday. And I wanted to do something special as far as read, as far as do like a live, live reading of this new One Piece chapter, but it didn't sort of work out for me. So just want to say I am blessed to see 25 years, yet another year I can continue to do this, read One Piece to you. So let's just get into it. Enough about me. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I wanted to do something like a like a laugh or something like Blackbeard's laugh or something, but it didn't. Re I, I just I, it doesn't feel right now, so I just I, I'm sorry. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Chapter eight sixty. The party begins at ten, and who do we have on the cover page of whom we haven't seen in a long time? Kurakuyo. <laughs> and he's actually doing something nice. He's holding out an umbrella for a puppy shivering in the rain. You, Moritobi, Hyogo Prefecture. And it's a frontispiece request. All right, let's see what's on the next page. Come on. Whole Cake Island, East Bay. Where in the heck are you lot planning on going? Go! We're leaving this country. Sorry, man, try to get found... Try to get found by someone sooner rather than later. Does Mama know all about this? Of course not. We'd be in deep water if she did. All who leave die. That big mom's modus operandi, isn't it? Ooh, big words. Jinbei was grateful to you, you know. It's honestly a miracle that... No! I hit it by mistake. Go back, go back, go back. Why do you choose to freeze now? Oh, this thing's acting retarded right now. I am so sorry. Go back to the page! <sighs> it was so smooth. Okay. It's honestly a miracle that I was able to hear Peckham's story like this. Our, oh. Who is this? Okay. This is Jinbei talking. I, I almost didn't know who it was talking to. It's honestly a miracle that I was able to hear Peckham's story like this. Our Big Mom assassination plan might not go off, but to know that Big Mom was planning her own Germa assassination plan. If Luffy and the others find out about this, they're sure to try some cra something crazy to save Sanji. And I can't just sit idly by and let their lives be put in danger. I'm going to help them. And Prawline, I remember her name, which means I am going to commit full-on mutiny and betray Big Mom. You go, Jinbei. At first, I tried to do the honorable thing and inform her of my departure face to face, but she dragged out that blasted roulette wheel and on it, there were three numbers written. Each represented the number of crew members that be sacrificed with me should that number be chosen. Big Mom intends her settlement price to be more than just my life alone. An absolutely draconian punish... Uh, an absolutely draconian punishment. Which is why I want you all to run. On the day of the tea party, Mama's ho... Ma I almost said that wrong. Mama's hors d'oeuvres interceptor ships will all be tied up escorting guests. The security for the, re for the rest of her territory will be light, and if something happens at that tea party, everyone's attention will be even more focused on the party, and there's your chance. We're prepared to do all that, I don't mind, Jinbei. We will do what we can to ensure that you can be free. Yeah, I know. No, you don't, dang it! You're gearing up to die if you have to, I can tell! Let's just say that somewhere down the line, I joined the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh, we got it! We haven't heard talks about this in a long time, except for people wondering when is he actually going to join. 
Let's just say that somewhere down the line, I joined the Straw Hat Pirates. I'd intend to use my very life to protect my captain, Straw Hat Luffy. You better go, boy! And Adeline, whether or not I do that is not a question of if. It's a question of when. Yo! Let's go, Jinbei! Fine, do, it, do as you wish, but at least try to do your best to protect your own life, okay? We'll take the boat and head back to Fishman Island. You're worried too, aren't you? About the Ryugu Kingdom. Yes! What the? The Ryugu Kingdom? I'm so sorry. Quite that we've known each other for years now, man. We'll meet each up. We'll meet again alive, right, Jimbei? Hurry up! Get ready to set sail. Roar! Hi! Oi! Hold it! Are they sailing with Peckhams? Oh, okay. Inside Whole Cake Chateau. Where were you, Raju? Where were you, Raju? Doesn't matter. You lot were having a blast till late anyway, right? I should be allowed to have them change my room if I wish, no? Quint interfering in the business of an adult, idiot. Let's go. Apparently they're holding the ceremony on the roof. Oh, that's so much death. Sanji hasn't run away, has he? The bride and groom are both getting ready as we speak. What are you going to do, Sanji? You know full well what will happen now. And... There's fireworks going off. Kaki Kochi! Kaki Kochi! It's starting! It's starting! It's time for Mama's tea party! The pit carriage is here! And there, and a whole bunch of... The clock is singing, the trees and flowers are singing, and an actual pig carriage is delivering them. Will they make it in time? They're late indeed! Better hurry! Here comes the pit guest! Wow, they're really going in with this whole Alice in Wonderland full thing. Oh, snap! We got new people! Why the heck are you here, mortician? You're, you're a nitpicky man, you are. Shush. Oh, my Stussy. Are morticians not allowed to attend, are not allowed to celebrate weddings? Googie, 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 you stink of blood. You're the last person I want telling me that, Dufeld. Oh, man, who are these people? Black Market King, God of Fortune, Dufeld. Dude, this dude looks more like a gangster than Capone does. But who is this mortician guy? He looks like Sweet Tooth. If Sweet Tooth had on a warden's uniform and wielded a giant scythe. And who's this? My, my, I'm so glad to have been invited for all this. This marriage is big news. The German and my company go way back. Morgans. President of the World Economic Times, Big News Morgans. And it's just a giant... I don't know what this is. Is this a giant dodo bird? What type of what type of creature is this? But this news is well known in the other world. It's quite old. Indeed, 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 indeed. No need to ship this news. Oh, and we got the names of their companions too. So with Dufeld, we have the Queen of the Pleasure Quarter, Stussy, and then we have the Great Mortician, Drug Peklo. Peklo the Clown. Is that an actual clown name? That sounds so familiar. Then traveling with the giant bird, Big News uh, Morgans, we have storage industry titan, the concealer, Giberson. And alongside him is shipping magnet, shipping magnate, mag, not magnet, magnate, shipping magnate, deep ocean current, Umit, or Umit. I could be saying that completely wrong. I do apologize. Now, now, welcome, emperors of the underworld. We might be a bit late, but if we try to, if we try to go through the castle, biddles, 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 biddles. Shall we send them on their way with the candy escalator? And he just uses his powers to make a giant staircase out of candy just shoot up into the sky. That is a lot of stairs. 
Whoa, awesome! This is wonderful. No matter how many times I see it, this candy work is odd. I might as well speak in, uh, in that accent that Capone does since this guy looks just like a mob boss. Thank you. Mama hates latecomers, you know. Let us hurry. You, are, you all are the last guests. What is going to go down in this chapter, I wonder? Oh, what a wonderful chapter to have on my birthday. Ooh, the stairs move on their own. Ooh, interesting. How wonderful. Why is he looking? But I simply couldn't contend. I had to attend my mother's funeral, and I wonder what I... Oh, wait, who is this talking to Capone right now? And he's giving candy to the kids. He looks like the child... Per I now, I now I know who Pedro's Pedro looks like. He looks like the child catcher from that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang movie. You know, the one with Dick Van Dyke and that car that had a mind of its own. You know, like P O S H Posh. You know, you know that movie. Pedro's Pedro looks like the child catcher when he was trying to find uh, Jeremy and Jemima. Oh, I can't believe I remember those names. Jeremy and Jemima when they were fighting, a, uh, hiding out, hiding out in Bulgaria or Vulgar Bulgaria, and he lured them out with candy. Pedals Pedals looked just like the child catcher when he had on those flashy clothes and was passing out candy. Because he's doing this to kids. Play nice kitties. In three minutes, you can look the candy coaster too. Yay! Before the... Oh, I was reading ahead of everything. Before the party hall. Open the gates. I won't submit to the body check. I'm sorry, sir, but we simply can't have that. Is Big Mom already inside? I received an invitation for the last party too, but... I simply couldn't attend. Oh, so that's what I was writing. That's what I was reading. I had to attend my mother's funeral. And what I wrote in my letter back to Big... M and that's what I wrote in my letter back to Big Mom. And do you know what she sent me? Whoa. Dude just got shot in the head. Like, even the door is all struck. She doesn't know what to say. And I'm saying that like the door is an actual person. <laughs> but, yeah, he's dead. Oi, who the heck shot him? That's a guess, dang it. This is how the exchange would have went. And do you know what she sent me? The head of my father, who should have been in the hospital. I'm here to get revenge. Open the gates. Then he'd have fired. Bang, bang. And two of your subordinates would have been shot dead. Commander Dogtooth. Is this a sweet tooth, Commander? Oh! So before all that, I threw one of my jelly beans at him. Tell me, was that mistaken, Rook Beige? One billion fifty seven million berry bounty. That's more than Jack. Oh, snap! Big Mom Pirates, one of the three commanders, second son of the Charlotte family, Dog Tooth Charlotte. Tell me, Mama, that, tell Mama that is, that this was my decision. You will now reply, I see, that's fine then. Oh, my God. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Where did this guy come from? He killed a guest with a jelly bean. Straight through the skull. A jelly bean. You know those squishy candies that you can chew through? He shot a guy through the head with a jelly bean. And I know I said that already, but still. This guy has a higher bounty than Jack. Jack has one billion. This guy has a billion and fifty-seven. A billion and fifty-seven million. <whistles> this dude looks awesome. And this dude is... Oh, man. Of all the people at this blasted party, this guy's the most trouble. He trained his observation hockey so much that he can actually see a bit into the future. A monster with a billion plus bounty. I see. That's fine, then. Whoa. 
This dude has picture perfect observ. Whoa! How? Who is him? Who is him? I want to know who him is. And then the door is opening. Now come inside. Door. Wow! What a fragrance. Her party are all her parties are always so delicious. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, them thighs, lady smoothie. Welcome, guests. Would you like a welcome drink? Oh, smoothie. You better say it, boy. Oh, man, my grandpa's calling in. Today we have lava from the Maori volcano. A beautiful maiden that stabbed a hundred men and giraffes that cry strangely. A glass of the giraffe, please. Wait. Hold on! Would you like a welcome drink? Oh, smoothie. Today we have lava from the Maori. She's listing all the stuff that she's going to squeeze for them to drink. Lava from a volcano. A beautiful maiden that was stabbed a hundred that stabbed a hundred men. A giraffe that cries strangely. She can squeeze all of these things and turn it into drinks for the guests. That is so strange. A glass of the draft, please. Sure thing. I'll ring that one out. I'll ring that out for you right now. And she's just... With one hand, she's ringing the thing out. Like... Yeah, this is amazing. The taste and mouth feel are quite wonderful, too. It's almost time. Oh, it's Big Mom. What is about to go... What is... Oh... We've actually we've been waiting for this party for forever and now it's finally here. It's finally clickling. Click clickling. It's finally clicking for me right now. We're finally at the tea party after countless months. <sighs> Everyone, thank you for coming for from near and far. Look to your right and now to your left. Everything you see is a sweet treat. Eat and drink your heart's content. And sure to, and be sure to enjoy every enjoy everything that happens here today. We finally get the start of the tea party and the chapter ends. Finally the party begins. Whose scenario will win out? Oh such a Oh such a good chapter for my birthday! We finally see the next sweet to sweet commander, Dogtooth, with a one billion and fifty-seven berry bounty, and he has, like, I haven't seen observation hockey, hockey this good since Fujitora, and he's blind, and he's able to do all the stuff he's able to. He's able to not only use his powers with. Okay, so here's the thing that gets me. Observation hockey. Well, first and foremost, let's just let's just get the most important thing out of the way. Jinbei all but confirms that somewhere down the line he's going to join the Straw Hat Pirates. So he's telling his crew that they need to get out of there because the terms of the roulette wheel that long ago Big Mom showed to him that he had to pay a price in order for him to leave was on top of his own life, he would have to sacrifice some of the lives of his own crew. Jinbei ain't having that. Because Jinbei is one of the most honorable people I have seen in One Piece. And he's not about to sacrifice the lives of his own crew just to appease Big Mom. So, he's supposed, he uh, uh, put in the idea for a mutiny. And said, yep, so you guys get out of here. Get out while you can. And, well, I want to say, what is it? Something line. I forget the name of the guy. I, dang it, I just seen his name. But he says, well, Jinbei, you're very... Uh, well, you need to take care of yourself as well. Because it seems like you're prepared to just give up your life if need be. So don't do anything stupid. So... After that happens, he all but confirms that, yeah, I'm going to join the Straw Hat crew uh, at somewhere, down the somewhere down the line. So just be prepared for it. Then we see more people being introduced. People from the underworld who we've only seen real, real silhouettes of, like, during the events of 
what was it, uh, Punk Hazard, when Caesar was doing a demonstration of, I forget what it was, I'll have to look at one of the chapters again, but we haven't seen, like, official names of the underworld i i don't think i've seen it i probably skimmed over it and i just forget but if i if i if they have actually named some underworld members then uh please forgive me i forgot uh but we see big name people's like we see uh we see what are the names of them because we see one of them is named nope I'm, I'm just gonna go back to the panel so we can see who it is but Dogtooth, though. Wow, what an introduction. Okay, so what we have here is... We have Bl the Black Market King, God of Fortune, Dufeld. Which looks pretty much like what Capone Game Bay wishes he could look like. I mean, now... I say beg again. Beige. Capone Game Beige. I said it. I said beige. He looks like what... Beige aspires to be as far as gangster wise like sh sure he's a bot boss and everything but we have God of Fortune Dufeld I'm guessing his wife Queen of the Pleasure Quarter Stussy we have the great mortician Drug Pelco we have Big News Morgans who's president of the World Economic Times we have the storage industry titan the concealer Giberson and we have shrimp magnate Deep Deep Ocean Current um, Umit or Umit, and among them we also have uh, somebody named the Organ Dealer. Organ Dealer. Organ Dealer. Where are you at? Organ Dealer Jigra. I don't think I ever said his name. Organ Dealer Jigra, who of course at the moment he tries to get in or force his way in past Capone. He gets shot in the head for disobeying and not attending Big Mom's last party. And who does he get shot by? He gets shot by none other than the the missing Sweet Tooth commander that we've been waiting on to see Dogtooth Charlotte, who's the second son of the Charlotte family. And who, by Capone's own words, has observation hockey so trained and so mastered and so perfected for him, that he is able to moment he can see into the future. Like he has the Sharingan of the observation hockey. <laughs> but and he has the high he now has the highest bounty that we've seen. Because what beforehand we've seen it with Jack. Jack had one billion. Just straight one billion. Highest bounty we've seen when he was introduced. Now we have one billion and fifty-five million. So now Dogtooth has the highest bounty that we've seen. So I would love to see just what his devil fruit power is, whether it's just perfect aim or something like that. Paramethia, Paramecia, Logia, or Zoan. I have no idea. I highly doubt it, Zoan. He doesn't look like he's a Zoan type, though. He looks like pure strength or pure Logia type. But that's something completely different. So after we see all of that, then we see the beginning of the tea party where Lady Smoothie, mmm, them thighs, thick. And we see her just ringing out random things for people to drink. Like, ringing out lava for someone to drink from a mountain. Ringing out a woman who stabbed over a hundred men for people to drink. And ringing out giraffes who cry very strangely for someone to drink. Strange tea party. Then we see Big Mom and she introduces, she says, Welcome. Look to your left, look to your right. Everything is edible. Everything is eatable. Channeling Willy Wonka, mind you. And saying that enjoy yourselves and make sure to enjoy everything that is to come. So we have no idea what's going to happen next. But I would like to touch bases on one thing before I end this. The whole assassination plan with Big Mom, the plan sounds nice. And I probably should have mentioned it in, this, in my last video, but I highly doubt it's going to go without even a hit. I, it's not going to go without a hitch. Something is going to go wrong. Because nothing perfect goes well in One Piece, as we all know. 
But I cannot wait to see how this turns out, and I can't wait for the next chapter because it doesn't say we're on break for next week. So awesome! What a wonder! This is oh, this is such a wonderful birthday gift. I'm glad to have this, and I'm glad to share this moment with all of you. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I can't wait to see you in the next One Piece chapter or whatever video I'm doing. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next video. So as always, later, peoples, and have a fantastic day.